Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we are going to be looking at the Call of Duty Firebreak Weapon Crate. Now I don't know if this is actually true, but I heard this was kind of rare and hard to find. I had seen it a couple times at my Dollar Generals and I just hadn't ever gotten it. And then I was in a Dollar General uh, to see if the rumors of the sales, like whether they were true or not. And I happened to cross one. It was not on sale, but it was the only one on the shelf. And I was like, you know what? I missed the other ones in my other Dollar General. I might as well grab it. So here we are. Now, I wanted to... I have a huge issue with this set. I want to get it out of the way right off the bat. So you see the shoulder piece right here. You know, it's it's one of those... I think the Atlas exosuits had them or something. Um, it's got like armor molded into it. The figure does not have that. He just has like a cloth normal shoulder with like the wrinkles and stuff. He does not have this shoulder at all. I was looking at the packaging. I was like, what? I, I, I thought he... He had that, no. And just to make sure mine wasn't a defect, I actually Googled it, and all the pictures I can find of this set out, I mean, there's not many of them, but all of them that I can find, all the videos, they all have the guy with without that shoulder, which is a bummer because that was one of the reasons I was really excited for the set is that armor piece or the armor shoulder, but he doesn't actually have it. So that's a bummer. Um, also, the packaging shows a lot of blue and gray kind of print on the head and it doesn't look like that's the case it looks like it's just gray so again i'm i i know i complain about this fairly often but the cg box art i wish they would just go back to photos because the photos would accurately show off the product instead of giving us this which has a piece that probably was cut during production at some point and swapped out and, but they never updated the, the renders um there wouldn't be extra detail we would actually get to see the set for what it is, um, yeah, I could probably go on about that longer, but for the sake of th this video, I will not complain about that too much. Other than that, I do like the packaging. The orange is pretty nice. I like the little window. These weapon crates have just a nice setup overall, like on the side. So just, it looks good. I just, yeah, you know, renders, disrepicancies between the renders and the figure is, that's still a problem. Luckily, though, I did not buy this for the packaging. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Got a little thing. My Dollar Generals will put these on because I guess people like to try and steal the Mega. I probably don't have to tell most of you because if you're watching this video, you're probably going to be buying sets. But please don't steal it. It's not worth it. There is the entire contents of the box. So we've got the backing which always serves as the instructions not that there's a ton to build here but we get to see how to put the figure together and it looks like the instructions are as inaccurate as the box which really frustrates me not gonna lie i i was really looking forward to getting that particular piece and it's just not there so let me pop the crate out the crate looks absolutely fantastic look at that there's no markings on it at all it's just all of the molded detail is so cool. They made like new crate molds for every one of these sets almost. And I don't know, they all look really good, but that one looks particularly good. Okay, so now, now you get to kind of see what I was talking about. See that arm? That is just all a cloth molded thing. Whereas on the instructions, you can see there's like armor on there. Totally different. Really kind of bummed out about that. Um, so that's not, not a great way to start off looking at a set. We've got a little pouch. We've got some painted up weapons. One of these is a translucent one. Makes me think of the Ray's lighter from Destiny. And then we've got all of these pieces, which are mostly just like our stand and the stuff to turn the crate into like the weapons display. Clear poles are always good to get. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this together and we will take a closer look.
So there's everything all put together. We got our figure. He didn't require much building. We have our crate, which is now almost like a uh, little weapons merchant like stand thingy. It looks like somebody would stand back here and sell you the weapons. Um, but that looks really cool. I think that's that's a very nice display piece just by itself. But we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Let's start by looking at the figure. So I think this guy is supposed to be a named character. I'm not 100% sure, but when I looked up on Google Call of Duty Firebreak, it gave me a character who went by the name Firebreak. And he looked very similar to this, except the actual Firebreak had like red camo pants, and this guy does not. So I'm not entirely sure if this is supposed to be like some sort of multiplayer outfit inspired by that guy. Or, or what? I don't, I don't really know what's going on. So maybe somebody can explain in the comments. You get a stand, very big, ugly letters on it. Then the figure himself reminds me a lot of this dude here. It's like the uh, extra frightening version of this guy. Um, again, shoulder is completely wrong compared to what we see on the box and in the instructions. What I do find interesting is on this side, we have a Destiny Hunter shoulder armor, but it is on there upside down. And no, that is not a mistake. It is actually supposed to be on here upside down. I think that was a really cool way to repurpose some pre-existing pieces. I think that was pretty clever because it actually works. Like it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. You get plenty of articulation. So I think that was a good idea. We have some more mechanical looking lower arms. And then this helmet, which it actually does have a little bit of print on it it's just such low contrast that you can't really tell there's like a more blue print there up the middle it's just so it needed to be printed a little thicker i think we got a little light that's printed which is nice the visor looks pretty good it's a little thin but it looks pretty good and then we have this big breather thing that's attached the tube is kind of bendable it's a little stiff i'm hoping as i leave him posed like this it'll bend into place more um, but that can be removed if you want it cannot be removed from the helmet unless you cut it it does get in the way a little when trying to pose in a shooting position it might be better if I swapped hands possibly so that let's say he shoots from this side uh, come on buddy it's so hard to try and pose a figure looking over the camera Okay, you know, never mind. It doesn't actually get that much in the way if you do it like that. So that's fine. Uh, I think that's that's perfectly good. And then we have one of these flight harness things, which they do tend to break over time. Uh, or sometimes they come broken right out of the package. Got a pouch on this side. Then he has print on his legs. The knee pad is printed and the boots are printed. But again, it's so low contrast, it's extremely hard to tell. Oh, he's got another... Uh, spot for a pouch on this side. I didn't notice that when taking him out. So that's that. And then the weapon he currently has is a shotgun, but it is molded all in this fiery orange. Thus, you know, fire break. And it's got a ton of really intricate print <laughs> English print on top of it. And then I thought it was maybe a new piece because there is the shotgun from the hazmat crate and it has no scope so i thought oh maybe maybe you know they made a new one but actually this scope is a removable scope it's just molded in the same orange as the gun so it looks like it's all one piece which means you can put this orange scope on or i'm sorry sight it's not a scope um orange sight onto other things and i think that's pretty cool i'm not the biggest fan of this style of shotgun in general I don't know why it just looks funky to me but that is a pretty cool looking weapon I must admit overall this figure looks pretty fantastic I think he would fit really well into something like um, he makes me think of one of the characters from the division same as this dude here like the whole hazmat you know sealed up ready for hazardous environments although this dude looks very much like he would be creating the hazardous environment instead of just like trying to deal with it he definitely looks like he would be the one causing the hazards i wonder why he doesn't have like a flamethrower or something 
Also, if you wanted to, I feel like this head could be repurposed to be like a fireman if you wanted to make some sort of search and rescue people because it definitely looks like it was once part of a fireman's gear. Here is the crate and we have a couple other guns. We've got this kind of machine gun looking thing, which is one, two, three, four, five parts. We've got a scope on that that can be removed. Lots of really nice print looking really good. I like this weapon a lot actually. Overall, it just looks, it looks really solid. You know what, let me put it on him so you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. Oh, whoops. Actually, now that that popped off, let me just show you what I mean with the sight. See, look at that. Now we have an orange sight on there. You could put the, the scope on the shotgun. That wouldn't make a ton of sense, but you could. That scope does like to pop off a little bit easily. But there we go. He could hold both grips. I don't want to try and make him hold both right now. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. That's a very beefy gun. And then the last one we have is, I believe this is another shotgun. It's a different type of shotgun. And it's got the same kind of textured print. This, this one, the barrel likes to come off really easily. I don't know. You might want to, if you get this set and it's got the same problem, you might want to put a little super glue on maybe the stock too. Let it dry and then put it back on so it doesn't fall off so easily. But yeah, you could put the, the sight on here too, which is pretty cool. You know, same idea. This one's a much bigger looking gun. Too bad there's not a strap to mount it on his back. And then we also get one of these Call of Duty single muzzle flares usually halo won't just give you the one piece they'll give you the whole thing but call of duty always just did the one in yellow but i do appreciate getting muzzle flares always even if there's just the single piece you know what can i actually make him hold both the handles when he's got the oh yeah oh yeah never mind we're good yeah there we go very cool he could use that for cover and then this is just Come on, come apart. This is just pegged in there. Doesn't look like you could store them in there, but kind of close that up. We'll throw in those other weapons. We'll throw, uh, we'll leave a stand out for now. And we'll seal that up. Look at that, that looks super cool. I love this piece, this is so cool. The fact that it has no print really doesn't bother me at all. It just looks so good. Did this crate come in any other sets? Now I'm curious. Like, are there variants of this one? Because I really, really like how this looks. This would be fantastic. Even to fit into something in Halo, it looks like something you might find in a, a fob in Halo. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like how you can turn it into, like, the little stand sort of thing. These pieces are always good to get. Yeah, that that's really cool. Well... There you have it. That is the Mega Constructs Call of Duty Firebreak Weapon Crate. I gotta say, this one is pretty cool. It feels very unique compared to the other weapon crates. You know, you get fairly generic soldiers here and there. I really liked the hazmat crate because of how unique that was, and I feel like this was kind of the, the same idea. Obviously, this one came out first, so I guess this guy kind of copies him. And this dude doesn't have quite as much going on. Like, this guy has the all that amazing print all over him. But the pieces on this guy are really interesting. My huge complaint with the set is, you know, they really should have their instructions in their box show the correct product and not show incorrect pieces. Um, or, like, printing being more exaggerated than it really is. I think that's a great way to make your customers really frustrated. So that's the, the big bummer with this set. They also, or the other big bummer with the set is it's kind of expensive. Even if you find it Dollar General, this thing cost me like $12. And that feels like a lot. Like we get a figure and a crate and some good weapons, but like, I don't know, that feels like a lot. And I, I know this one's similar price, but I just felt like more of a value with this set as opposed to this one. Um, I feel like eight 
8 or 10 is a good price for this, but 12? I, I didn't realize that was the price when I got it. I thought it was going to be like 8, and then they rang it up, and it was like $11.60 or something, and I was like, oh, that's a little bit of a bummer. Figure looks fantastic, though. He can fit in a lot of different scenes. Even if he is supposed to be a named character, there's no reason why you can't get a bunch of them and make yourself a squad of these. They almost look like flame troopers, but there's no uh, no flamethrowers. Again, I absolutely love this crate. This looks so cool. I really want to get it in some photos now. Um, even, I wonder, I, I might paint it or weather it myself. I don't know, never never in any of these weapon crate sets have I just loved the crate so much, but this particular one looks amazing. So, yeah, I I would recommend the set if you can find it at a decent price. Just, you have to know, first of all, the box is going to be fairly inaccurate. And you also have to keep in mind, A, that he has this, which you may or may not get broken. Um... And then the guns may be a little loose, you know, when putting them together. But yeah, if you can get this for between 8 or 10 bucks, I highly recommend. Anything more than that feels like a bit much, even if the crate is awesome. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.